guys today we're going to go through some of the cars that i'm looking at here at the auction today one of those will be a ferrari uh if they're they're looking for the keys for it for me now we're going to see it's listed as a run and drive we're going to find out uh a jaguar suv which spoiler i'm sitting in it now <laughs> uh a couple of tahoes and act just a bunch of cars i have on the list because there is 36 that i am interested in that are going up tomorrow and we will be following that auction live as well so let's go ahead and get into it all right, guys, first on my list is this Jaguar. What the hell do they call these SUVs? I don't even know. F-Pace, 2019 with only 3,370 miles on it. Oh, man, this thing looks like it took a pretty serious hit here to the side, as you can see. And it looks like the plastics and stuff broken in the rear. The rear door does open. So no leaking or damage back here. So that's a positive. It is an automated door though. And there is no power to it. It is one I'm going to look at. I looked under the vehicle. I didn't see really any suspension damage. You can see they got the spare on it here. And we can take a look in here at the suspension. And it doesn't look bad. It just looks like some significant door damage here, which, you know, replace that door. And I don't think I, oh, it won't really open, but I couldn't really see if there was pillar damage. And I can look down the way there and it doesn't look that way. It looks like it is really just a door and that back panel. You know, unless the body has been bent, like, say, right here, and I'm not seeing that, this could be a really good option to, to look at as a potential purchase and a potential good flip car. Now, I do notice, now looking back here at the rear, look at the gap here in this door. I can almost stick my finger in it. So maybe the car did get bent because or maybe it just sits like that i don't know this is <clears throat> to be honest i like jaguars i, I look <coughs> excuse me i look at them on the regular man this dust out here is really bad there's there you get dust on copart yards but the dust on this yard is like second to none man um you can see it in the door jam i don't know maybe that's normal let me know if you guys know anything about these uh pace suvs from jaguar if that gap is normal uh, in the comment section down below. Everything else though, the vehicle really looks like something I would be looking for. Oh well, let me know what you guys think in the comments and we're going to the next one. Next I have up is a Jaguar F-Type. Now, this is your typical Jaguar sports car here. Um, and let me know what you guys think about the stabilization and the audio this week. As this week, uh, we're trying out the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Next week, I will use the GoPro 8. But this week, I wanted to do uh, the iPhone just for the stable stabilization and whatnot. So let's go ahead and pop the door and take a look in here and see what we're working with. I see the zip ties have been broken here you can see so that means some dickhead probably stole the key you know typical bit shit that people do when they're trying to get over on a car now here's something i noticed look at the plastic down there it hasn't even been removed that's crazy almost like somebody had this car and i mean it makes sense the car only has 5700 miles on it now this thing does sit really nice no power in it anyways even if i wanted to show it to you guys 
I love this. I call these the James Bond buttons. You know, this is for the, what is this one for? Service. You hit this button, and you, which if you have a Jaguar, you're probably going to hit this button a lot. <laughs> and then we got the I'm snitching button. <laughs> this is the call the police in a hurry button. Somebody's already got a lot of dust and debris in here. But overall, I mean, the control, I like that it doesn't have the circle BS for the uh, shifter in this one. I like the seats. Was that suede or Alcantara? Alcantara seats. Very nice. Very nice. I, I mean, this would be a car I could really enjoy. And I'm looking for a toy for myself, not just a flip car, if I find one at the right price. So let me know what you guys think about this Jaguar F-Type uh, in the comments below. You know, we're going to publish this one later tonight. And uh, I will be bidding on these in the morning. So, or I might publish this after some of these pass so I don't lose. I know some people will be spiteful and try to upbid me on some of these vehicles. I see a little blood here on the car I did just now noticed. I also see some yellow spots in the insurance company, I'm guessing, right here. And I see some blood down there on the door. So it's not listed as a bio, but there are some blood stains in here. Next on my list is something that is oh so pretty. Can you say it with me? M car. This is a BMW M4. I don't know particularly um, when I walked around it the first time, I didn't see any major structural damage to it. It definitely has been sitting a while though because look at the rust on these rotors. This thing has not moved in a very long time. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at the interior here in a minute. So walking around the outside of the car, I do see that where the hood is not matching up appropriately, and that would be why it's here. Looks like somebody pulled this motor. At one point, the straps and stuff are still on it. I'm gonna guess theft recovery maybe um i don't even know yes no it's a bmw motor but i'm sure it's not the uh, m motor that probably came with the car somebody probably swapped it or somebody was trying to steal this motor and it is the original motor so i'm gonna guess that this one does not run and drive <laughs> <coughs> that's gonna be my guess i see we got the spare key thing up there in the you can see it right there. It's all broken up. I can see the rondelle or whatever it is is all destroyed up front. Right? Wow. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of the car. Now this is where it gets interesting. As we open it, they have this cool security feature that you only get on BMWs where the door panel will stay. <laughs> the door panel will stay with the car now it is an m4 because it actually has all the m badging uh but jesus christ this car has been beat to hell and back i mean the convertible top looks like it's all been taped up and messed up the seats are all molded and shot but let me tell you something this car you know for somebody that wants a rolling shell could definitely be worth the money in parts See if we can get that in there correctly. It could definitely be worth the money in parts if somebody wanted to, you know, throw a motor in it and do something with the car. But that's too much for me, so we're on to the next one. Next on my list, yep, we got another uh, Hoovy's Garage slash Watch JR Go slash overpriced junk BMW 7 Series. Now, this one comes with some really cool features like sticking door handles <laughs> and, and cracked up displays and uh, interior so nasty that I'm not going to get into it. But I thought it was funny. I just wanted to show it to you because it comes with the, I cheated on my baby mama rear windows. And 
these are very, very rare. They're very hard to come by. You have to really screw up to get the I cheated on my baby mama windows on the BMW 7 Series. And trust me, they are extremely, extremely expensive. <laughs> next on my list, one that I'm very highly interested in. There's actually two here next to each other. Well, we're going to start with the Porsche. This is the Porsche Panamera S. Now, this is the one that I might try to drop the bucket on. It's 20, has 25,221 miles. It is a 2010. That means this thing is ultra, ultra, ultra low miles, okay? You don't get more low miles than that, okay? There's the mileage. Now, then again, mileage today, nowadays on digital, you know, unless you check it with Carfax, doesn't mean a lot. But why this car looks like it's worth what I think it, it's going to go for, which it's going to go for a lot. It's going to go damn near retail. But, uh-oh. Ah, now we got it. See, they were telling me in the office. Uh, they were telling me in the office that this thing ran and drove. But unfortunately, it does not look like it's the case. And that sucks. Well, damn. Damn. Maybe it won't go for what I think it was going to go for. Look at the SIM card slot here. This is where they incorporated all this from Audi in here. But taking a look at the rest of the vehicle, the interior looks really nice. I mean, really nice. And in case you didn't know, there's not really a middle seat here in the back of these Panameras. They're four-seater cars. You know, it's a four-door Porsche, you know. The interior in here is very, very nice. It does not have the Alcantara ceiling that I've seen in most of these, but it does have the nice leather stitch dash. It does have the really cool clock up here at the top. I love, you know, I'm a sucker for the Porsche logo, man. I've had several of the Cayennes, um, and I've loved them. I've loved them. I love the paddle shifters, and I love how this works. Look, this is a very smooth, I like this paddle shifter design. So pushing in is upshifting, pulling back downshifts. So if you're one-handed and you're going, bah, 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 you don't have to like worry about using both hands to shift. You can just use one to focus on shifting. I really like that with Porsche and some Audis do that too, like the uh, R8. So let's take a look at the engine. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I literally tried to grab the thing for the engine. I mean, to open the hood and the uh, thing just came off. There we go. Look at that that's crazy yeah it just came right off of my hand so it's broken okay got it all right so these shocks do not hold the hood up on its own but this is the 4.8 liter v8 now the body or the frame that this is built off of i believe it is shared with the a7 and i'm sure a lot of the suspension and parts would show that out as well the engine looks really clean it really does it looks good not gonna lie Belt looks good. I mean, you would expect it. It's only got 20-something thousand miles on it. I see that motor mount there has some cracking there in the bushing, but that's about it. I mean, direct fuel injection. I mean, it looks good. It looks good. I still might try to bid on it. Even if it's only having a key issue, it means it might go for a little cheaper, which is definitely what I want. Brakes and whatnot on this look good. They're not all rusted. So that's a positive. Tires don't look shot. And they're using the Centauros, which is a common, you know, tire for these. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. I see that sidewall is all chewed up right there. That means that tire would definitely have to be replaced no matter what. Let's see if we can get this rear open. Probably not, right? Oh, there it is. Uh, so that all works yep that looks good it looks good i think i want to be highly inter interested in this one let me know what you guys think in the comments if you think i should bid on this panamera s next on my list is the doug demiro <laughs> land rover defender no just kidding this is the land rover defender now these things go for a ton of money this one has 133 
5,165 miles on it. Now, just so you know, these are not, uh, you know, as much as they go for a ton of money, these are not luxury vehicles. Now you can fit one, two, three up front, probably another three back here if you're skinny. And then they have these weird bench seats here in the rear that go all the way in the back. And you have bench seats back here and bench seats back here. And then you have this little, you know, storage area back here. It was a nifty truck for its time, for sure. And you'll see these on the road and these things go anywhere from, you know, 7, 80, 70, 80. Oh, wow, my fat ass just, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just broke the seat. Okay. You notice this seat's not bolted down. Neither is the seat that I'm in. This one does not have keys, it looks like. Why does this thing look like it has? This is like some James Bond shit right here. Shoot the missiles. <laughs> it's got a kill switch. Boom. All right. That's that's a cool quirk and feature in the words of Doug DeMiro, you know? I think that's cool. Clock on the dash does look like that is the real number, 133,000 miles on board. Has a Kenwood audio system in it and a wide open dashboard with a rat's nest. Hmm. Interesting. Headliner and stuff's all sagging, which you probably saw from before. I do like the shifter like here. This has got like, this is like some, I don't know why this reminds me of that Jurassic Park shit, but it does. This is kind of cool. I don't know. I, you know, I'm a sucker for European stuff, British cars, you know, like Jaguar and whatnot. And I, and I like Land Rover slash Range Rover, but whew, no AC. You see that? There's your AC right there. Vent. <laughs> your AC is right there. It says vent. That's it. And you have your fan control right here. <laughs> and you can control hot or cold over here. I would have that in cold all the time. Man, I see you got lights and stuff. I mean, it was cool for what it was for its day. I just don't understand. I really honestly don't understand why people are paying 70, 80, 90, 100. Like, this is not like even like a G-Wagon. Now, I get the novelty of it, right? I get the interior, you know, the cloth seats, the direct metal floor. There's nothing there. It's like just straight body, right? Boom. I get it. And this back area and stuff here is kind of cool, but I don't know, man. Is it really worth 70 grand? This is like, this is tempting to me to buy at Copart, even if the motor and everything in this damn thing is shot. Even if it's like, there's no trans, if it was a rolling shell, I would buy it because I know I could put five to six grand in a motor that runs. It ain't even got to be perfect. Oh, look, cracked windshield. I see that right now. Let me zoom in on that. See that right there there it goes yep um even if it didn't run like even with the the most basic of basic motors in this thing and a transmission that drove it didn't it, even if it slipped i'd still be able to sell this damn thing probably for 45 or 50 grand the way it sits it, it doesn't make any damn sense and i do like it like that's the clutch feel wow boy let me tell you mm. All right, well, what do you guys think? This might be a... <laughs> Wait a minute, look at this. <laughs> oh, shit. Am I sitting on the battery? I forgot about that with these. That's right, the battery sits right there. Hell no. What do you guys think about this one? Would, is this something that you guys would consider? Or something that you guys want me to consider? I don't know, man. The eyes on that dashboard are getting my attention. Let me know what you guys think. I like the snorkel. You know, that tells me that this thing could be ready for ready for work, ready for fun. But what do you guys think about the Land Rover Defender? Is it something you guys would like to see? Let me uh, let me know. And it could be something uh, I sincerely consider picking up for the channel. And it would be a great flip car. I guarantee I'll make money on it.